So I want to talk about a DIY bicycle pannier that I made uh, and presented recently at a maker meeting here in Ann Arbor. Uh, but before I talk about that, I want to talk about this. This is a Bike Pro USA grocery pannier. Uh, I had this originally. Um, this weighs over a kilogram. It weighs 1,042 grams. And that's what, about 2.3 pounds? Uh, well over a kilogram and pretty sturdy. I really enjoy having this sh shoulder strap and it attaches with this bungee hook for the lower and then these are steel uh, brackets on the top. Uh, so that basically hooks on like that. And then with a little bit of effort, that clips on there. And you can see it will hold a full grocery bag, although um, it's a little shorter, so it's kind of a fat, short grocery bag. So that's where I was kind of starting from. I wanted something on the other side. Um, these are like 40 bucks, but I like trying to make things. So I had one of these. And I'm sure a lot of people have these. These are just, uh, you know, reusable shopping bags. This one's made out of a, like a tarp-like material, so it's quite sturdy. And um, basically, they have 3D printed hooks. These are printed out of PET G. Uh, they had holes here that I sewed um, to the uh, the coroplast, which is kind of the structural part. Uh, the inside for structure, basically, there is corrugated plastic. These are just uh, signs that I cut the size. It's actually sewn. This is just a regular home sewing machine. It sews through both the bag and the corrugated plastic. And then there's this strap. Um, this is probably a, a third generation design. I've, I've moved some things around. Um, this is probably the third generation of the clip. The second location, they were up here originally. This strap was more on the inside. Now it's on the outside, which I'll explain why. And then um, I added this elastic. And so that obviously allows me to do to do that so that when I'm riding with it empty, it's not catching a lot of wind. But um, this strap, what this strap does is it goes underneath. This locks into place like so, so that when, when this is full, you can't actually pull this up. This can't come off because this strap, in addition to holding the top of the bag closed, is actually holding the, uh, yeah, so if you, if you loosen that strap, the strap's not under tension, then you can lift it off. So, um, let's see what else. That's about it. So, you know, these are about 40 bucks, very sturdy. Uh, this basically cost me, well, it was kind of fun to tinker with, but I'd say probably a good half an hour, 40 minutes to, to build it. Um, probably not quite as sturdy, but uh, it was a nice uh, upgrade, and I've used it a number of times now, and it definitely holds uh, a solid amount of groceries. So, anyways, thanks for watching.